Greetings and salutations, everybody. I'm Andrew from Team Respawn, and there's a new Halo Wars 2 update that has just been released today, January 29th, 2019. It's been a very long time since there was a last Halo Wars 2 update. Um, uh, over eight months, to be exact, was when the last update hit. Um, the balance changes that come about once every couple of months or so, those are balance changes, and that doesn't require an update to the game. That's just something that you launch the game, and it says um, a balance update has been installed. You have to restart it. That's not really a content update, which is what this is. This is something you have to download once you fire up your Xbox. Um, this update's huge. It's over 12 gigabytes in size. Um, and I'll be putting a link to this in the description if you want to read along. And really what this update is for is a lot of the bug fixes that I have complained about for arguably forever. Um, it says fixed uh, some locking issues, like the game will just freeze um, when you're downloading a balance patch update. That happens to me all the time. Um, it fixed the freezing issues at the main menu while booting the game. That happens to me all the time. It fixes uh, issues uh, where the game can desync after a balance patch happens. And all of the balance changes of the past year are included in this update. Um, and they also did a few other things. They didn't really get too specific in here. Um, it goes into a great detail. It's really interesting if you're kind of a tech nerd like how I am of how they managed to get this update out of the door. Um, after eight months since the last update. And I believe, if memory serves me right, I could be wrong, but I think this is the first update from 343 uh, directly for Halo Wars 2. All the content updates previously were handled by Creative Assembly um, when they were working on Awakening the Nightmare, I, th I think. But I probably am wrong with that, so never take my word for it. Um, anyway, there's a really interesting paragraph that I wanted to touch on for um, this patch here. And it's at the bottom. It says, One thing we learned while working on Halo Wars 2 is the community is full of passionate individuals who are highly competitive. Last year, we saw the Halo Wars Championship League run several seasons of tournaments which were highly successful. And we were uh, one of the venues or organizations, if you will, that ran a bunch of HWCL tournaments. Um, fun fact. One piece of feedback that has stuck with us and by us, they're talking about um, Renzi, Postums, um, a few other people at 343. Um, one piece of feedback that has stuck with us was that players wanted more content for Halo Wars 2. We have heard this, and Renzi, who was quoted many times saying, I went to art school, has been working on something behind the scenes for the Halo Wars 2 community. He and the team can't wait to show off what they have been working on later this year. So I'm almost certain that I, you, you can say new content for Halo Wars 2 confirmed at this point. Um, and I'm really hoping that that content provides some more longevity to the game, not just more stuff to do, if that makes sense. So Awakening the Nightmare, for better or for worse, was an expansion pack that just gave you more stuff to do. It didn't really expand... The game for what it is so it gave you a firefight mode which is awesome i love that mode it gave you a new campaign and it gave you a couple of leaders people really when you're playing a lot of halo wars 2 at least in my experience want more maps more units more leaders things of that sort um that will really expand the game as a whole and not just throwing in different game modes on top of each other. So while I think Awakening the Nightmare was a fantastic expansion pack, I think what they're doing here is the new content that they're supposedly working on will hopefully be more units and maps and maybe another leader or something. Um, I don't think we're going to see the Flood. I know a lot of people want the Flood to be like a playable faction within the game. I don't think that's going to happen for this. Um, there's also some things that I've personally said many times, and I'll say it again just in case you missed it. Some of the points that I think they could do to make things really more playable and more enjoyable for Halo Wars 2 are more skulls or modifying a bunch of options 
just to make the game more fun. Like, let's say I want to turn on the happening settings where everything's just way over the top and so much fun in custom games. Why can't I do that? Why can't I have it to be um, everyone starts with all your leader powers unlocked and all your unit powers unlocked, just kind of like how there was the deathmatch mode in Halo Wars 1. Everything was upgraded from the beginning in that game mode in Halo Wars 1. I would love to have that in Halo Wars 2. I love to have a free-for-all where um, it's on uh, one of the maps in Halo Wars 2 and um, everyone's on their own team. So you could have six 1v1s or three 2v2s or however you want it. You know, a 4v2 or whatever. Um, I, I think that would be awesome. I mean, there's some things in here that I think wouldn't be massive changes to the game, but would add a lot of value to it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But regardless, whatever they're working on, I'm going to get it. I it, Halo Wars 2 is amazing. Um, and whatever they're going to be releasing, we will be covering here on the channel. Post your thoughts in the description down below and check out the Halo Waypoint article if you want to see more in detail of some of the other small things that they're changing in this update. Thanks for watching. I'm Andrew from Team Respawn, and I'll see you later.